the shift came off those boots. Literally never worn one of these brown boots. I haven't either until yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so legit. Yeah. Get the heck out of my face unless you're ready to thump. Since I came out the pines Do you for the gram? Guess that's just state of mind Surely it's the people why I leave it all behind I've been reminiscing Searching for the right path I've been reminiscing I've been looking back Looking back I've been on a journey Searching for the right path I've been on a journey I've been reminiscing Thinking I should write back I've been reminiscing I've been reminiscing I've been on a journey I haven't either until yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so legit. Yeah. I'm just gonna put it like. I'm just doing. I'm honestly kind of just doing this for practice yeah, sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure this stuff works over there. Check, right. check, check. Mike, check one, two. Where you at, pizza lady? Check, check, check. So I'm. I'm probably gonna do. What I've been doing so far has been just like a little, like I'll record an intro later. Cool. And then we just basically jump like, jump right into Should it. Should I beatbox the intro or something or? You, you can't. I really don't care, bro. Okay, well. Oh God, that's, give a, that's a hungry bird. All right. Papa oh, John's. Just, yeah, Papa John's, come on. Kind of had the realization that the long-term game of MMA probably wouldn't be there. It's a hard sport. It takes a number mm -hmm. uh, on your body and, and, and really can come, you know, one injury you're away from your career being yeah. ended. So. Um, went the safe route and kind of decided I was going to fully focus on pharmacy school and having the competitive nature that I do have mm -hmm. uh, once I hit fourth year and realized that, okay, well, this is, this is the real thing now. Like sitting in classrooms, one thing, um, I hated it with all my being and getting me to go to class was like an act of calm. I mean, I just did not want to go. Yeah. And, but fourth year is a whole different ballgame because that's what I like. I like actually... Uh, performing, I'm a kinetic learner. I like to do that action. So for me, fourth year was awesome. And I was volunteering for any like projects that I was on, you know, that I could possibly get my hands mm -hmm. on. Um, was just really going after it, and uh, that's kind of where I kind of came into, you know, who I, you know, the pharmacist. I, it's sort of where I started molding the pharmacist that I am now, and 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 realizing how many different opportunities there are, and start you know, I really started opening as many doors as I could because yeah, yeah. you know for me it's a competition even if nobody else is competing with me mm -hmm. I just for my own psyche I, I need to have uh, a competition so yeah. I, I, you know I'm putting a jersey on I'm, I'm going after somebody I yeah, don't know who yeah. it is I just there's people that complain like oh I don't have time to do this I, this this human being right here was in pharmacy school and was also professionally fighting 
let that sink in. Like let you think about that the next time you think you don't have time to do something because you have to study for something or you're in school or you're, you know, you're working 40 hours at a pharmacy, whatever your excuse might be. Like don't say you don't have time for something. You, there's always there's always ways to make time one way or another. Right. Yeah, I, I I remember I take I took a test one day and I had uh, like sweatpants and a hoodie on, so it looked like I was just wearing like athletic clothes. But underneath that, I had trash bags on because I was I had to cut like 20, 20 yeah. pounds to make weight. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I was taking a pharmacotherapy test, like just sweating my behind <laughs> off, and nobody nobody realized That's it. So but, funny. Yeah. Oh my God. Probably could have done better if I wasn't sweating, but yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna add something to like kind of going physical. I'm yeah, gonna go, go go back and add uh, one little bit. You'll hear one of the arguments you hear about count, consulting patients and, and spending the time going over certain meds or whatever it may be is that the pharmacist doesn't have time mm -hmm. in a retail setting or a community setting. And in some cases, you know, that's probably true. You may not have time or it may put you behind. But this is my personal thought process on the matter. And that's, I'm always, every single thing I do, regardless of what it is, anything I do in pharmacy is always a pawn being moved on my, on my career chessboard. Mm -hmm. And I'm, op I'm trying to open doors, I'm trying to look for different opportunities. So for me, I know that clinical pharmacy is, has to be the future. This dispensing model is not sustainable long term. So at some point in my life, I'm going to have to go the clinical route. So regardless of whether I have to stay later because I got behind, from when I did spend time counseling patients, I'm going to practice that now because if I'm not comfortable practicing, practicing with uh, or not comfortable consulting patients face to face on any disease state they happen to bring up, then I'm not going to do it when it comes time to really do it. And yeah. so for me, you know, I don't give a crap if you're not going to pay me or I'm not going to make more money or in in the short term game now. I'm going to practice that skill so that when I get out of it and all my other peers are now scrambling because they feel like they're out of practice and they're doing this, that, and the other. And I'm going to say, ah, no big deal. What's the next model? Let's yeah. go. I'm ready. Like that's where I'm, I want to always be ready. I don't, I don't know what doors are going to be open, Yeah. but I know that I'm going to be ready to jump through it whenever it is. And that's on a little borderline to, you can't like broad, cause they thought we were broadcasting basically. Oh, so really? like, cause you have a camera and like we had a microphone. So like we had to do it like really quick and like people were like walking by and like I was trying to get like a perfect angle. Bro, I literally didn't do this to like a piece of audio. I didn't do that. Like, and it was like a little thing that like I thought I like, cause you know those things have like little notches. So yeah. like, I thought I, I had all clicked in. It was like missing like a last little like click and then oh, like missed the whole audio. Sucks. I was really upset, but I got the video though, which is good, you know? So. Just, just, just dub over it later. What's that? Yeah, <laughs> try to like, yeah, voice it over. And yeah, you'll, no, you'll but, um, notice how he approaches yeah. with the <laughs> yeah. utmost confidence. Yeah. Do like a planet Earth. Like, that would be hilarious. <laughs>
uh, in different career paths in pharmacy, for example, emergency medicine or transplant medicine. Um, we have pharmacists in all those uh, fields of practice, and I just wanted to give an insight on day to day. While at the same time, I wanted to give a view of what pharmacy is like in other countries. So I'm hoping to have interviews with pharmacists from Australia, pharmacists from England, uh, and pharmacists from Asian countries even. So uh, definitely check it out. We're on iTunes and SoundCloud. Uh, you can hit us up on Instagram or on rxradio.fm. And uh, thanks for tuning in. One of the contraindications to interest, though, is a past history of angioedema. So you got yourself... Uh, a real challenge here because we potentially cost this guy a medication that uh, has a great mortality benefit just because of a lack of consultation. So please make sure you're telling patients to wash, to have a washout period of 36 hours in between the ACE and starting in Tresto.